Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos. I'm going to start this project off with this crate that I got at Dollar Tree. It's one of the ones with the pretty cutouts on the front. I'm going to take this chalk paint in the color Primitive and give this whole box a coat of that. So I did all around the whole box and then I did on the inside as well. I did everything but the inside bottom. And I only needed one coat of this. It covered really well. And I love this color. Once I had it all painted, I'm going to set that aside for a minute. I'm going to use these little spools. I'm going to paint each one of them with the same color that I painted the box. And I had four of them. I'm just going to give them a quick coat of paint on all of them. And then let those fully dry as well. These are like half thread spools. They're like really tiny ones. I just had them in my stash. I don't even remember where they came from, except for maybe I got them at a thrift store in a bag of wooden pieces that I had bought. But you could use little wooden balls or other little spools of thread. It's totally up to you. Once I had those all painted, I'm going to glue one to each corner of the bottom of the crate. And once I have those all on there, now this will stand up a little bit higher. Then I'm going to take some antique wax. I'm going to go around and wax the whole entire crate. I even did the little feet. And I'm just kind of focusing on the edges right now. And then I kind of slide it across the front and the sides and the back. And then I'm just going to get where I need to. And then I'm going to take a baby wipe and wipe off all the excess. So it's not as dark and it's kind of a little more spread out. And you can kind of do this until you get the color that you achieve. You can add some more wax and pull it off. It's, it's up to you how, how primitive or rustic you want something to look. Once I had that all stained, I'm going to take this greenery bush from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to start cutting pieces off of it and just getting all the pieces that I want to fill my crate and then once I have all my pieces cut I can go ahead and fill up my little crate here cut off some of the excess stems if I wanted them to sit a little shorter so then I can stick those in there once I have decided on the height that I want it all and then just kind of fill the box back up. And you can fill it with whatever you have on hand, greenery, florals, it's up to you. But this is just a cute little shelf sitter. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to make one. And as always, don't forget to spread the chaos.